Causes of significant cardiac failure after MVR include pulmonary hypertension, organic tricuspid regurgitation, chronic atrial fibrillation, advanced NYHA class prior to surgery, surgery for mitral regurgitation rather than stenosis, redo surgery, other valla lesions, associated coronary artery disease, infective endocarditis, rheumatic activity. Most of these have been detailed in the study by Mark et al. involving 708 patients who underwent mitral wall replacement. MVR done for mitral stenosis has less chance for developing heart failure later compared to mitral regurgitation or a combination of mitral stenosis and regurgitation. In mitral stenosis, there is no load for the left ventricle, while in mitral regurgitation, left ventricle has extra workload. So, if surgery is not undertaken before the left ventricle has developed structural damage, left ventricular dysfunction may not recover fully after surgery. Hence, the timing of surgery is very important in mitral regurgitation to prevent recurrence of heart failure after mitral valve replacement.